Hello and welcome. Let us solve this question on histogram. A school investigated how much space on its computer's hard drive is used for data storage. The results are as shown below. It is given that 16 hard drives use less than 5 GB for their data storage. So the histogram is there. On the Y axis, you have the frequency density. And then on the X axis, you have the space in GB. Part A of the question, find the total number of hard drives represented. Part B, calculate the average space on each computer's hard drives. And then part C, use the histogram above to estimate the median. So let's go to the first part of the question, where we're supposed to find the total number of hard drives represented. So the total number of hard drives refers to the total frequency the total frequency and then you look at the histogram we have the frequency density and then the space in gb so you can get frequency from there so remember that to get the frequency density we get it by frequency divided by the class width and therefore to get the frequency we shall take the frequency density multiply by the class width that is what you're going to use so the total number of hard drives will be given by the total frequency. And in this case, the total frequency also will represent the total area of the histogram or all these bars that are shaded. So the area of the total bars that are shaded here will also give us the total frequency when we add everything. So we shall take each bar at a time. So look at the x-axis. We have 0, 10. So this will be 5. Then this will be 15, this will be 25, this will be 35, this will be 45, this will be 55. So we get the area, the area of the first bar, of, of which we are going to take the frequency density multiplied by the class width. That is how we get the, the frequency for that bar. So the first bar, we have 5 multiply by so let me bring it down like these are uh, yes so this will be five multiply by frequency density is eight that is the area of the first bar the second bar from five to fifteen that is a uh, ten multiply by the frequency density that will be ten times five Then we add the next bar, runs from uh, 15 to 40, 15 to 40, that will be 25, 25 times 3, so that will be 25 times 3, and then plus the other bar from 40 to 45, that is 5, multiplied by the frequency density, which is 7, so 5 times 7, and then the last one, from 45 to 60 that is 15 from 45 to 6 that is 15 times the frequency density which is 4 so when we get this sum um, this will give the total area of all the bars which will represent the total frequency so like the first one here you shall get 5 uh, times 8 you get 40 so the area of this bar will be 40 then the next one will be 50 so for this one will be 50 and then the other one will be this will be 75 this will be 75 25 times 3 like that and then uh, for this one 5 times 7 this will be 35 35 and then the last one will be 60 as simple as that so therefore total hard drives which will be given by the total frequency you add everything 40 plus 50 plus 75 plus 35 plus 60 that one you get 260 drives so that is how you're supposed to work out the first part. 
We go to the second part. Calculate the average space on its computer's hard drive. The average space. So the average space is the mean. The mean space. It is simply asking for the mean. You can refer to it as average or the mean. So how do we get average or the mean? How do you get average or the mean from this histogram? Now we are going to construct a table having the frequency. So we shall have the table uh, having the frequency and the classes. And that will help us to calculate the mean. For example, the first from 0 to 5. From 0 to 5. Then from 5 to 15. So we create those classes. So let us create the classes. So this is what you're going to do. All right. So this is what you're going to do. So we have the the classes so the classes the first one uh, from zero so then zero to five so what this one means I'm, I'm going to use the midpoint m is the midpoint of that class so therefore the midpoint should be greater than or equal to zero and it should be less than five so the first class uh, is from zero to five the other one is uh, from uh, 5 to 15. From 5 to 15. So 5 less than, go to M, less than 15. Then the other one is from 15 to 40. 15 to 40. 15 less than M, that is a 40. Then the next one. Uh, from 40 to 45 from 40 to 45 and then the last one uh, from 45 to 60 so m is the midpoint uh, these are referred to x or is the midpoint so let me first uh, create the frequency remember we have the frequency so the frequency and then the midpoint, which is uh, M in this case. So the first class, the frequency already is what we calculated. What you have calculated in the first part A, like the frequency of the first class is 40. The second one is 50. So we are getting it from here. These are the, the frequencies. So this is 75, 35. And 60. Then M, the midpoint of this class is 0 plus 5 divided by 2. So the first one is 0 plus 5 divided by 2. We get 2.5. This 5 plus 15, that is 20 divided by 2. You get 10. The midpoint of the other class, 15 to 40. This will be 65. Uh, 55. 55 divided by 2, we get 27.5. Then 40 plus uh, 45, this will be 85. 85 divided by 2, 42.5. Then 45 plus 60, that is 105 divided by 2, 52.5. Why am I getting this? Because uh, to get the mean, to get the mean or the average, I will need to use this form formula. Summation of fx divided by summation of the frequency. So I will need um, fx, need fx, and uh, fx is uh, just 40 times 2.5, this one will give 100, and 50 times 10, this is a 500, 75 times 27.5, this will be 2062, it will be 2062.5, then 35 times 42.5, this will be 1487.5. Then 60 times 52.5, you get 31. 
50. So that is uh, fx. Uh, from there now, we can get uh, the sum, the summation of this column. So we add everything here. And that is what you're going to put it here. So we add everything. So when we add everything here, we add everything. That is summation of f. So 100 plus 500 plus 2062.5 plus 1487.5 plus that 150. That will give 7300. That is summation of fx. Then summation of f. Uh, summation of f. This is a total that we have already added here. Remember we added in part A. We got the total number of drives. That is 260. When you divide these, 7300 divided by 260. Uh, this will give uh, 28.08. GB, that is the average space on each computer's hard drives. Then the last part, use the histogram above to estimate the median, to estimate the median. So to get the position of the median, median is the one that is uh, going to divide this histogram into two equal parts. So therefore, we shall get the total area of all these uh, shaded bars, the total area of the shaded bars, and then since we want to get the median, we multiply that by a half. So that will give us the position of the median. So median, median is equals to a half times the total area, the total area of all the bars, which is the total frequency. And in this case, it will be a half times 260. This will give us 130. So we need now to locate 130, where will that lie? An area of 130, where will it lie? So the first bar is 40, we add the second one, that will be 90. Then 90 plus 75, that one will have gone beyond 130. So that tells us that the median will be located in this class from 15 to 40. Because when you take these are 40 plus 50, um, that is 90, so 90 plus 75 to exit. So median is somewhere, the position of the median is somewhere here. So this is what you're going to do. So we shall take uh, the, the area, the, the area of the first bar, which is a 40, plus the second one, plus. Now when you come to the third one, uh, the third one, what we, we know is that, remember how we are getting the total frequency? We are taking the frequency density, times the class width. So already we have the frequency density of this class, uh, where we have uh, this uh, the class where we shall have the median from 15 to 40. So we already have the frequency density as three. So three, so this will be given by three times what we don't have, what we don't have is the class width. We don't have the class width, so we don't have these uh, width that is going to give us the median assuming the median maybe to be somewhere there so we don't have this so we let that to be that length to be x because remember for us to get the area of each of these bars like the first one here 40 we got the class width that is 5 multiplied by the frequency density which is 8 that is how we came up with 40 so the same will happen to this so we have uh, the class width times this 3 so therefore, uh, this is what you're going to do. We let class width to be x, and then that should give us uh, 130, because we want to, that is where the median will will be. So we calculate uh, x. So this will be 40 plus this will be 90 plus 3x is equals to 130, and this one will give uh, x to be. Just get x. X will be easier to identify there. X will be easier to identify. So identify X. So X will give 13.33. Uh, 13.33. So after getting that, uh, remember now, uh, X. X is this uh, distance. 13.33 is uh, now from this point. 
we add 13.33 now that will take us exactly to the position of the median so from 15 from 15 from 15 we add 13.33 so let us do that so 13 so we have 15 plus 13.33 and this will give 28.33 as the the median so now uh, if you to draw these you have to draw these uh, it will be located it will be located uh, 28.33 so from 15 we have added that width that x we have obtained uh, 28 this is a 26 27 28 28.33 will be uh, somewhere there somewhere there so 26 27 28.33 to be somewhere there so that is uh, the line that shows the position of the the median so it will be here so 28.33 and that is how you're supposed to identify or to estimate the median and also uh, calculate the average space on e computer's hard drives.